Hello, Omar. It's Sandy and Francis from Hi, Howdy Mary. Congrats on your Q5. You're going to love it. So we're going to give you a bit of an overview of the new Q5 that you just received from Stephen, uh, just so you can use the day-to-day -day functions like opening the hood and using the interior functions. I'm going to start with the exterior. Francis is going to show the interior in a moment. There you go. Okay. All right, come on with me. I'm going to show you where the hood release is here in the interior of the car. Come in on with me. So right here, just give it a pull. And I will show you where to change your windshield washer fluid. So I'm assuming you're going to need to do that in this nice springtime weather. So hood release so on the front. Go in right through the center. Just a finger or two. And button and up. Nice and easy and lightweight. So for your windshield washer fluid, it's up towards the front. Apart from that, the another little feature with these. With our Audis, you cannot check your oil manually under the hood. There is a function within the car menu on the main screen that we'll have Francis show you to uh, check the oil levels. If there is any issues, the car will tell you and give you a warning symbol. But apart from that, there is no dipstick within the uh, vehicle, the engine compartment. So come on around. I'm going to show you to uh, how to uh, open your gas tank. So. Always on the passenger side, uh, there is a symbol obviously on the gas tank on the display um, with your gas gauge. If the car is locked, your gas cap is locked. The minute you unlock the car, the gas cap will open just by press or switch. Um, obviously we are premium gas on this um, and apart from that, nice and simple. So again, while your car is locked, your gas tank is locked. Now for the rear tailgate on your key fob, you do have the key, the, um, the release button to have that come up. If you're, for example, in an underground garage and you need to keep this a little bit on the lower side, uh, you don't want it to uh, cause any work for our body shop, you just hit the closing function and then hold it till the tail lights flash and it will set to the lower height. If you want to reset it back up, manually push it up and hold the button again again until the taillights flash and it will reset to the regular height so uh, quite a lot so I'm sure you've seen a lot of damage on chrome uh, handles on the rear tailgate due to that issue to close the tailgate it will not work off the fob it's a safety feature with these vehicles you must touch the button so that you know the back tailgate is clear come around to the front Again, for um, smaller driveways and garage doors, the, the um, mirrors do fold in for you. All you have to do on that is turn the switch on the inside uh, to, the, uh, to have it fold in. So a car obviously must be running to have that function to, uh, to work. Now I'm going to pass you off to Francis and he's going to show you some interior options and uh, we'll get you set up on the interior. Hi Omar, uh, so we're in the Q5 here. This car is equipped with the same features as yours. Uh, I'll show you a few really, really nice things about what this car can do for you on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, you'll see it's quite a bit different, uh, different than the other luxury cars, uh, but once you're used to it, it's probably the most intuitive uh, system that's in the market right now. So let's start with the phone. Uh, to pair your Bluetooth with the car, I just started the ignition. You can do it with the engine running as well. We'll go in your Bluetooth menu turn it on. Here uh, below the shifter you've got all of the controls for the navigation, telephone, radio, media uh, and a few more. We'll go through it real quick. So we'll use telephone. Click here search for new cell phone. Continue. The phone already picked it up. So it shows as Audi uh, MMI. And once the car finds it, takes a few seconds. Here, we'll select your phone, click on hands free again using the center of the dial here. It will ask to confirm a code on both the phone and the car. So we'll click yes here with the car, pair on the phone, and it's now connected. So that is a uh, one time operation. On the Blackberry, I know you use a berry, um, it'll ask you a prompt 
uh, if, uh, if you want to connect and below that you'll see a checkbox that says uh, don't ask again so if you click that every time you come in your Q5 it'll connect automatic without you having to do uh, any further steps so that's pretty neat now that this is done we'll give it about two minutes just so it downloads all your uh, your numbers your contacts your phone books into the system so we'll go straight to the steering controls here what's on your steering wheel uh, controls directly what's in this small screen here so if I use the mode setting it'll bring you to your telephone menu then you use your OK scroll here to just go into different features like your directory so you'll have all of your number here in front of you as you drive uh, and if you click on it boom, it'll also bring you uh, to it if you click mode again it will bring you into your radio settings so you can change station here go from AM FM Sirius or your presets and if you're, uh, if you're into your navigation system uh, with a set destination you'll be able to see that on there as well so now that the phone is connected you can use your voice recognition system that is the other one here uh, with the little voice logo and here's how it goes any number that's in your phone book you can do this Call Audi Berry. This contact is not available. Call Audi Berry. Call Audi Berry. Would you like to dial the number? Yes. The number is being dialed. And it's called. So, extremely, extremely easy to use. Uh, very friendly. Um, once you're used to that system, it's incredible. As you drive, you can do this and the navigation. In fact, to switch from the telephone to the navigation, use this one button again. Navigation. Navigation. Brings you directly to your nav system. Cancel. Cancel. So once you're in there, and of course you could have used this button here uh, to bring you to the, your nav, it does the same thing. Uh, the Audi system, the way it works, everything in the center screen there is your center dial so for the nav will zoom in and out each screen has functions in the four corners of the screen they are always the four chrome buttons around the dial so if I wanted to punch in a destination I go under destination which will be this button here and then same logic you use this to go into address and enter uh, follow the steps there are very uh, straightforward and intuitive as an alternative, you can do so many cool things with the voice command again. Things like, I need coffee. Next coffee shop. Please enter the line. So now I have all of my coffee shops Cancel. around. It'll work with restaurants, ATMs, Audi dealerships, Volkswagen dealerships. I'll actually email you a PDF copy of all your voice command with the car. Uh, now for your climate control, it's very very similar to this system. Uh, you got your uh, automatic front heated seats, the temperature here uh, controls your automatic climate control. With the S-Line package, the drive select button here will uh, change your settings from dynamic to individual to comfort and you can set them in car here with your NMI. So what it'll do it sets your engine and transmission sharpness, the suspension dampening, so stiffer or uh, softer depending on the type of roads you're on, the type of driving you do. Uh, stiffness of the steering wheel as well uh, can be adjusted to be looser or tighter depending on what you like the best. Uh, if we look over here, you've got your sunroof controls. So everything for the sunroof is done from this dial. In the center, you've got two arrows, one pointing forward, one pointing back. So the forward arrow will bring your sunscreen forward fully powered of course if you um, hit it again it'll stop move forward there you go really really nice to have that um, now for the roof itself push up on the back of the dial it only tilt the roof pull down on the back of the dial it'll close it and you've got multiple adjustments here to slide your sunroof.